is coming up this weekend, the 20th annual Waikiki Spam Jam, where over 30 local restaurants are going to be participating and serving up some great dishes, one of which is going to be Hula Grill Waikiki. We got Chef Paul and Michelle hanging out with us in the Hainau Kitchen. Welcome to the show, gang. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's getting exciting. It spam is. Jam is this weekend. What's Hula Grill bringing to the party? So we have a couple of dishes. We're going to do the um, Spam and Kula Pork Wonton Nachos. We also have our Caramelized Spam Mac and Cheese, and then we're, of course, going to put them all together as one combination as well. Ooh, chef, you must be busy now. Some restaurants are doing one dish, you guys are doing three. Yeah, we're actually doing three because we want everyone to taste a little bit of our creations from our chef because our chefs create these dishes, trying to work with local ingredients. So this is the stuff we have for this year. Okay, I love it. And I've been asking a lot of chefs this. Uh, when was your first uh, core memory of Spam growing up here in Hawaii? Yeah, so I grew up in a country up in Waihewa and I thought, Growing up, spam was steak until I went to culinary school and I saw New York and I was like, what is this? Oh, what is so that? Spam was a staple in our house. Okay, I love it, Chef. Uh, what's working over there on the uh, the stove right now? So actually, we're going to do two dishes. Um, we're, we're representing Duke's Waikiki, who is our sister company. We're doing right uh, spam katsu, two styles. One is with teriyaki and oriental dressing. The other one is the blue cheese uh, slaw with the uh, ranch dressing. And then we're doing, on ours, we're doing a candied mac nuts spam and then we're going to also blanch our mac nut and we got a reduction of the vita cheese and heavy cream and then we can put the rest together later. Okay, I love it. So we're going to do uh, some tasting here in a bit. Michelle, I'm going to have you come over here while Chef Paul does his thing over there. Uh, tell us about Hula Grill uh, Waikiki. What goes into the menu and what's the vibe like over there? Okay, well, so we're actually celebrating 20 years this year in Waikiki. Congratulations. Thank you. We're um, located in the heart of Waikiki at the Outrigger Waikiki Resort upstairs from Duke's. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe in chef-driven chef aloha, so we do a lot of farm to table. Um, our chefs are the showcase of our restaurant. They have a lot of creative ideas um, and they just make some great food. Um, and that's pretty much it. We do live music every day from 12 to 2. We have a great atmosphere. I would say the, definitely the best view in Waikiki, 100%. Okay, local style, <laughs> live music, great food. Um, now, we have some ingredients over here on the table. What are we looking at? Michelle, what we got? So we've got our furikake croutons. We have our fried kale. We have our caramelized spam, our pickled jalapenos, and then our lomi lomi. Okay, now all of this is going to work itself into the Spam Jam, right? These are going to yes. be uh, featured. Yes, and then these are our slaws for our Duke sister um, for their katsu sandwiches. Okay, very cool. Now, I want to tell everybody out there as well, this is, again, the 20th Annual Waikiki Spam Jam. We have some of the uh, different accessories, different things that are going to be available this weekend. Again, Spam Jam is open to the public, free for anyone to attend. It was all started by a nonprofit organization, and we want to tell everyone that a big portion of the proceeds go back to benefiting the Hawaii Food Bank, Visitor Aloha so Society of Hawaii, and the Waikiki Community Center, as well as you look at those images. This is, again, going to be the 20th anniversary. These are some images that's going to be uh, from some of the restaurants that are featured this year. Also, in addition to all of the Ono uh, spam that's going to be taking place, we got to shout out these super cool cans. I want to get a shout over here uh, back in the studio. This is from local Hawaii artist Kamea Hadar, which I am told he's actually going to be over there uh, signing cans of spam, which is going to be super cool, multi talented. Um, and spam has just come such a far way over the years. There's the pumpkin spice, there's maple. Have you tried the different flavors before? Not yet. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting pretty <laughs> crazy. And obviously, it should be no surprise, here in Hawaii, we consume the most spam in the entire country. Seven million cans estimated we take down here in Hawaii. We love our spam. Chef, how's it looking over there? Good. So what I have here is um, I have the candy spam. We, we have actually five spice. We have oh. Chinese five spice. We have... Um, uh, Ginger and cayenne pepper and chili, uh, chili powder. Oh, love it! Yeah. Can, can I pull? Can I? Can I steal one? Can you I? Can try I the one that's already made. Oh, okay. <laughs> how does how does one candy spam? How, do, how does that happen? So you just rub the thing and put a little bit of um, mm. binding agent. You bake it in the oven. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It kind of gives it a different texture too. Yeah. Okay, love it. Um, Michelle, I want to go back to you. So with uh, Hula Girl Waikiki, you guys obviously, um, is it good for walk-ins? You can do res? Like, how, what's the best way to check you? Because you guys are probably always busy. Yeah, we recommend reservations for dinner time, but we do take walk-ins, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And oh. we do brunch on the weekends, so. Okay, I love yeah. it. Uh, Chef, how are we looking? We're almost, uh, almost about ready to plate? Yeah, we're almost ready. I just want to make one comment that um, Please do. Two, this is our second year partnering up with Hawaii Educational Culinary Foundation with um, Haley. And we've been working with Roosevelt High School. And we've been helping a lot of the other schools. And we're lucky enough to get 
10 students Volunteer King this year with Spam Jam. And we actually teach them how to do food costs, how to do the prepping, and obviously they like the tasting part. And they're actually gonna come to the event and do hands-on working the event. So if you guys come to our, our Hula Girl event, come say hi to the students from Roosevelt. Oh, that is so cool, Chef. And how important is that to really educate this, uh, this next generation of chefs? You're a local boy, but having uh, mentors like yourself to be able to have events like this where they can come get their hands dirty. Yeah, this is the best thing because when I was young, no one ever spent time with us. So giving back to community is one way of, for us to regenerate and get up and coming um, chefs to create dishes. Because right now, this is the best time to get in the industry. 100%. And Chef, I gotta say, the fact that you thought that Spam was steak just makes me just love it. <laughs> right on. I love it. We're gonna head to break right now. Uh, when we return, we're gonna be getting a chance to poo poo and taste some of the offerings coming up at the 20th annual Waikiki Spam Jam. We'll be right back. We're looking good. We're looking good. I'm ready.